Springfield Armory customer service not going to help you. Hey, how you doing, sir? What's going on? Yes, the optics plates. Yes, what, which one? For the Trigicon. Uh-huh. But what's the name on the order? Armstrong? Rob? Yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have your order right here. Shipping. Um, never. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're never shipping. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Tell me about it, right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And, and just let you know, we're, we're keeping it $60, too. Yeah, I gotta keep the lights on, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else? Yeah, hold on. Hold on a second, please. Uh, Mr. Armstrong? Yeah, there's there's nobody else here. I'm the only one. Yeah. I'm I'm solely responsible for all of the optics plates. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's next? Uh I don't know. You call your congressman? Make a YouTube rant video? I mean I mean whatever you gotta do at this point, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Gotta go. Yeah. Love you too. Bye. That was awkward. All right, y'all. As we all know, Springfield Armory is never shipping the optics plates but it's all good man we just gonna keep it we just gonna keep it rolling in the prodigy rant video a guy was telling me like hey man why don't you just throw the vortex venom on there and i was like hey it doesn't fit because i tried it but then i thought about it i was like you know what it probably could fit it just needs like a, a little bit of gunsmithing so for y'all that don't know you can make the vortex venom fit the springfield right and I'm gonna kind of walk you through this to let you know what I did to make it fit. So the issue was, once you have the plate, you put the optic on, everything lines up, but it wasn't enough clearance in the front. This front right here was rubbing against the top part of the, of the slide. And it wasn't enough space in there. It was like creating friction and it wouldn't let it seat all the way down. So what I had to do is just grind some off the front. Not much. I'd say maybe you can kind of see it right here. The kind of shape of it. I said maybe like three millimeters or so. So what I did was I pulled out my Dremel. I had one of these little like kind of diamond textured cutoff wheels. And basically all I did was just took the wheel. And I kind of did like a little moon shape, shaved a little bit, seen if it fit, shaved a little bit, seen if it fit. And I just kind of kept doing that until I shaved off enough to make it fit. The reason why I did it in this type of shape, because that's kind of like the same shape as the slide. So once you get that done, let me throw this on here real quick so you can see. You can see that the vortex fits on there. You kind of see what it looks like. I probably could have cut it a little more close. That way you wouldn't see that much exposed um, metal or aluminum or whatever it's made out of. But it's good enough for me. It's literally just an optic I had laying around. I was like, hey, it'll work. So once I did this, I was like, hey, let me mount this optic. Of course, Springfield doesn't even give you any additional screws <laughs> to hang on mount the optic. So I had to get some screws. The screws that you need are the 628 screws. How do I know that? I read the manual. For those that don't want to believe me, pull out your, your Prodigy manual and it'll tell you specifically what the size of the screw is. So if you see right here, I'm going to give you a close up on this. There's a guy that sells a optic mounting uh, screw set. And I bought this set. It comes with eight screws, four different links. And I think it was like 10 bucks. I bought them, they got here in like three days, and that let me have the screw length I needed to mount the optic. So, also messing with a bunch of different optics, just out of my own personal experience, I know that the Vortex shares the same footprint 
as a couple other optics. And when I say a couple other, a couple other optics, one of the ones that I really like is the Sig Romeo one. I absolutely love that optic. I run that optic. And when I say run it, yo, I got it on my Glock 26. I got it on my Glock 19. I got it on my 17L. I got it on my 226 Legion. I got it on my 320 Tac Ops. I got it on my 320 full size Frankenstein build. Like, yo, I run this optic. So I was like, yo, let me see if it fits on here as well. So just to let you know, it does not fit. The mounting screws are the same and they line up just fine. The issue is the pins on the bottom. Now, the Vortex has the pins, but these pins line up with the plate perfectly. The Romeo does not have pins on the front. And I was thinking maybe I just have to shave these pins down with the Dremel and then, the, you know, just mount it on the back. But they don't even line up with the pins in the back. So that is a no go. But for those of you that have the Prodigy and it comes with this plate, you're like, man, is there another option if you don't want to go out and spend money on a, on a Vortex? There is. Let me tell you about this other site. There's a site right here. It's called the Sightmark Mini Shot. And you say, what in the world are you doing with that? I know. Tell me about it, right? I was out in San Antonio. I was at a gun store one day and I was talking to this guy. He was like, yo, check this company out. I was like, Sightmark? He's like, yeah, they made in Texas. I was like, really? Boom. Made in Texas. And I was like, okay, that looks uh, looks kind of dope. How much you want for it? I think I paid like $200 for the site and I bought it just for the sake of trying it. Because like I said, I have certain type of optics that I like and things that I prefer over others, but I don't discriminate. I'll try anything. But then check this out. The Sightmark Mini Shot fits on the optic plate perfectly with no modifications whatsoever. You can take the plate, Mount it to the DS, and the sight mark fits right on there. So that's another option that you can use as well. And they sell the sight mark on uh, Amazon as well. I think it's like 200 bucks. I want to say the Vortex is like 225 or 250 something like that. So if you don't want to spend that much money, you want to get something a little bit cheaper, there's another option. Now, if I had to pick between the Vortex and the sight mark, I take the Vortex all day. I think it's a much better optic. The sight mark isn't bad, but Vortex just does it a little bit better. And then also if you out shooting in brightness, um, the Vortex Venom gets a lot brighter than the sight mark does. But if your budget is 200 bucks, the sight mark mini shot would take care of you. If you want to push it to like 250 or so, the Vortex Venom will take care of you, but you will have to do some modifications. And that ain't nothing but a little Dremel accessory. Same thing, you can get one of these cutoff wheels, probably from like Walmart or from Amazon. Do a little shave, jump on eBay, get the, the mounting kit, and that's it, man. You get your dang on optic mounted up, get out to the range and go shoot. So now that I can mount this optic and I can run this like this, I'm gonna go out and put some rounds down range. Hopefully I get out there, I wanna say, I don't know, maybe mid week. I really wanted to go this weekend, but it's raining down here in Georgia. And I don't mind shooting in the rain, but the outdoor range that I go to, they be tripping about it sometimes. So it is what it is. But yeah, bro, I have a solution. Hopefully it works out for everyone until we get the plates or if we never do, but I will contact my congressman and we gonna fight this thing. Springfield, ship the damn plates, bro. I'm out. Rob Armstrong.